Hey guys, I'm here to unbox my 2017 planner. I got a really good deal from Plum Paper on their Black Friday with their ready-made planners, so I'm super excited about that. If you want to see the planner that I used last year, the SHP planner, I'll put a link to my review of that below. They're both Erin Condren style planners, but they're not as expensive uh, with the vertical layout. Um, but the Plum Paper one is a little bit different, so I'm excited to open the box. Okay, it came in a really sturdy box with uh, bubble wrap. That's always nice. Some little cards. Um, you can do custom covers. I, like I said, I got the good deal on the ready-made covers, which are a little bit less expensive. Looks really nice chose this one because of the color of it. So um, it's just a little bit of a divot right there. Hey guys, this is Sarah from the future. Um, I contacted Plum Paper about this little flaw in the cover and they kindly offered to send another set of covers for me. They said that's never happened before. It's such a weird thing um, that I would get that one. But I wanted to let you know that they took care of that and they also kindly offered a coupon code for you guys. So I'll put that up on the screen and in the description box below in case you decide to check out Plum Paper. Be sure you use that. The coupon code will be good through, I think, sometime in March of 2017. Um, yeah, so let's jump back to the review of the planner. Um, the cover is clear, and then underneath, um, this is a really nice, um, I don't know how to, how to describe it, like it's, um, almost rubbery feeling, but not exactly, you know, like some of those new book covers are. I think I actually prefer, uh, this cover to the, the plastic one. Uh, I could always take that off. Um, then inside, pretty, um, we have a This Planner Blogs to page. I really like the color scheme of the Plum Planner, which is one of the reasons that I went with it. Then we have a year at a glance, uh, special dates, another year at a glance, ideas, plans, goals. Then we're starting out with our tabs for January. These are laminated. I don't know if, yeah, you can see that. Um, this is not the same material as the cover. This is more of a traditional like notebook type shiny, shiny uh, material. Then we've got a place for three monthly goals, birthdays, events, things to remember, and then two lists you can make whatever you want. A sheet of notebook paper. I really like, they changed the fonts this year. I looked at Plum Paper last year and I wasn't really crazy about the layout, but everything's really clean and classic looking this year. So we've got the January calendar, space for a list, and then a little like peek ahead at February. And then we have uh, like a week. This is actually the end of December right here, but January starts, so they gave us this week. A little uh, peak of the month I like this being right there then we've got a list a place for notes um, I got the columns with lines they have different layouts you can also get the three boxes like the Erin Condren if you want that or you can get an hourly layout and then it has these three check boxes at the bottom which could either be for meal planning or it could be your top three goals of the day I like that um, here's the layout where it's not grayed out because it's actually January We'll just flip through the months to see the color schemes. We've got February, March. Seems very, very similar in uh, size and layout, so I think all the same stickers we'll be able to use. The paper's really nice, smooth paper. June, July. So just giving you a little peek in case you might want to get a plum paper planner for 2017 if you haven't seen the new layout. Um, I'd love to know what, oh, this is my favorite color. <laughs> November, that'll be nice when it's starting to get kind of dark and dreary to have that, that pretty teal. Um, but I'd love to hear what planner you're using uh, now or what planner you're planning to use for 2017 in comments below. 
see what we have here at the end. Whoops. So we've got another little sheet of notebook paper, a sheet of dots, a few sheets of dots. Uh, passwords, oh, this is brilliant. <laughs> I'm always forgetting what passwords I use. Um, especially when they make you change it and then it's something that you you don't really like to use for your password. Um, then you have a little one, con two pages contact sheets, uh, US holidays, and uh, 2018 year at a glance. So then we have a pocket right here. And it's, I, th I don't know if it's always that color. Oh, it might be. I'm not sure if it's made to coordinate with the cover or not. Um, but I really love this cover material. It's really, really sturdy and seems like it's wipe offable if something happened to get on there. And then we've got another clear plastic sheet. The coil itself seems really sturdy. Um, and it's really shiny. I don't know if that's just because it's new and I've been using the other one for about a year. So yeah, um, it's really chunky too. Um, so like I said, this is the planner. Well, I didn't say this, but I said it last year. I use my planner at my desk every day. I don't carry it with me. I like the spiral bound because I can just leave it open uh, to the half of the week that I'm on. Um, and it just takes up this much room on my desk. I tried to use the Carpe Diem planner, this guy, the ring bound, and it's really pretty, but there's no real way to use it unless you have this much room on your desk. Also, the paper is really small inside, so it's really cute, and maybe I'll use it for something, but for day-to-day -day planning, it was just a little bit too cumbersome for me. So there we have it, Plum paper planner 2017 again there's lots of different covers you can choose from you can put your name on it you can customize it in lots of different ways but this was the ready-made one which is a little bit uh less expensive i'm terrible with numbers so i can't remember the price but i'll put a link to everything below so you can go and check it out um, if you want to see more planner or day-to-day -day adventure related videos make sure that you subscribe and i'll see you next time cheers